Hey guys, Dan with Sterling Self Defense here. Sorry I haven't been around in a while, I've been crazy busy. Uh, me and Badger are in the shop again. Say hi, Badger. Using my new phone to film, it's actually like auto zoom, so I'm trying to get used to this. So uh, hang with me. All right, testing a couple guns today. Uh, the Grimberg Ghost. Gonna be testing this one first. Got the VKS bolt kit in here. Got uh, the Grimberg uh, Aurora front end. And we got 9 inch uh, SSD metal detent barrel going out to David McCaskill. There you go, David. We're going to try her out, see how she works, get some numbers. All right. What do you think, Ben? Are you ready to go? All right. Uh, also, we're going to test some, uh, test some bolts today. Well, we'll get to that after this. Find my uh, round here. Okay, load her up. All right, move the camera over you see what I'm doing. Safety on. Maybe some glasses. Yeah, do we get you in there? All right. So the first shots with the Grimberg Ghost. Excuse my smoking, I already have one lit. I know, terrible habit. <coughs> oh yeah, I want to thank uh, Brush once again. Out in Brooklyn, sent me one on Amazon, sent me a case of uh, Red Bull. That was really cool. Someone else did the same thing the other day, but uh, if you could, hit me up with a message. You, it, your name wasn't on it. Just came from Amazon. There was no name. But once again, didn't have to do that. That was really cool. Thanks. And you now I drink a lot of Red Bull, so appreciate it. All right. Let's get going. All right. First shot out of the Grimberg Ghost. And fully ghosted, sir coated. Thank somebody else too. Kelly Comer put a get, sent me a sticker. It said check your follower. And it's actually I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's on my trap. I forgot to check my sticker that said check your follower, so I forgot anyway. Sorry. But it was a good idea, man. Very funny. <laughs> All right, here we go. Four eighty eight. Five oh eight. Yeesh. Four sixty eight. All right. So, uh, David, you know you can turn this down. This is up to max now. What I recommend, you know, regular self defense. Drop it down two full turns in your regulator. Stick your round key in there. Two full turns all the way around, and you'll be, you know. Uh, It'd be a lot less, less than this. It's, it's a bit high, I know, but that's way you know what it can do. All right, so that was the Grimberg Ghost. I guess that's what I'm naming it, only because it's got a Grimberg front end on it. But uh, it's just a regular Ghost with the Grimberg front end, 9-inch SSD barrel metal detents. And uh, the mod suppressor didn't come with it. I just threw it on there to pretty it up a little bit. He wants to keep it more compact so we can somewhat carry it around. He originally wanted to have a 7-inch barrel, but unfortunately, 7-inch fell right inside the Aurora, the Aurora front end, so we had to make it a little bigger to 9, so it's getting a lot more power than I thought you were, than you thought it was going to get, because you went from a 7-inch to a 9-inch, so obviously you're going to be getting some more power. So, can't complain about that, you can always turn it down, can't always turn it up, so there you go, that's the Grimberg Ghost. Now I got some other ones I've been testing. <clears throat> I mentioned it a little bit the other day. What's that, Ben? You're, you're bored already? He's just sleeping. He sleeps through the rounds and everything. Unbelievable. <clears throat> and a break for our sponsor, Red Bull. Gives you wings. All right, you know, I've been working on my valves. You got my older valves. You got my super valve and the mega valve. Very powerful. Don't use these as much anymore. Little overkill if you've seen my videos. You know, 170 joules, pretty much a firearm. So that's them. So I'm working on some smaller ones. They don't have names yet, but these are valves. Go right in the end of your gun, easy, quick, in and out. So I'm working on different powers now. And we got 
this one test today. The pepper ball carbine. With uh, some sort of super valve. Haven't named that one yet either. Uh, we got a 16 inch barrel on this with the mock suppressor. Uh, 12 inch handguard, first strike. And inside here, there are bolts right in there. My, my super bolt, mega bolt, whatever. We'll see after it shoots what we call it. Screws right into the back of the gun. Real nice, easy, simple. Of my own make and design. It's a long one, so it's the first time I'm shooting it. First test out. Let's see what we get. Let's load up the mag. Grimberg Jewels, 8 gram. Yeah. HPs would get a lot more power than these, but I like my jewels, so I'm sure that'll be enough power. All right, let's get you over to the trap. There you go, trap is in focus. All right, glasses. Man, that's pretty, isn't it? And I'm sure you guys have never seen a pepper ball rifle yet, because the downside of pepper balls, we know they have no air lines in the back, so you can't do any rear ASAs or anything like that. But I found a way around that. And my Super Bolt screws right in the back. No connections needed. No air lines needed. All right, let's see what kind of numbers we get. Might be a little scary. I don't think it's gonna scare Badger, but we shall see. God, ah, sticker and all, and I still forgot. It's all right, David, you wasted your money. I'm an idiot. Oh no. I'm sorry, Kelly, mixing up people's names. That terrible memory. <laughs> 560. 582. 568. It's upside down, but you can see it. 554. I think I'm running low on gas. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm running low on gas. You know what? These numbers, I know they're high, they're crazy, but my tank is actually low on gas. I'm actually under a thousand PSI in my tank. So let me pause this and go charge my tank real quick or change it. Hey guys, all right, the tank is charging. You can hear it in the background. But I figured while we're waiting, uh, I'm going to be testing a new, I'm, we've been looking for a good on and off. I got some of these, so it should be pretty good. I got some more testing to do on it, see how it works out. So, definitely need a good on and off. And I got a new batch of my uh, uh, VKS ASAs I'm going to be testing. A little new batch done of these. This way now the VKS bolt, you just put this right in the back and the tank screws right into this. They're hot off the CNC machine, but there's still one, I gotta make the airline, and that's gotta be done by hand on the drill press. So, almost there, then I'll be, uh, pretty much the finished test and they work good. Now it's just a point to make them. You know, my prototype works great. I've been using it for like a month now. I got uh, like 1,800 rounds through guns with it on flawlessly no problems works great i love it you know, and it brings down the back you don't have it as far you know rear asa is really long then you got the vks keep them all in one less chance of leaks too when you just got one unit so it's going to be pretty good i'm working on that got a couple other things a lot of other irons in the fire too work on a bunch of stuff i know guys are asking me to do a lot of things but you know I'm working on them, getting there. Uh, there's only so much, uh, you know, so many hours in the day to make stuff. But it's getting there. All right, I'm gonna go check that tank and I'll be right back. I finally got a, a camera that can actually pause. So I'm gonna pause you. All right, guys, we are back. 
Sorry about that. Tank was super low. It was under a thousand psi, so we're not going to get real numbers. Hey Badger, you want to see this or what? Come here, Badger. Badger, where you at? Come on. Take your seat, buddy. Come on, Badger. Lazy. Just sit on the other couch. He's more comfortable. Guess he's not interested. All right. So if you saw those numbers. What is shooting with a low tank? What's it going to do with a full tank? Woo. I don't know. They're crazy numbers. I didn't check them yet. I got to do the math on them, but they were they were high. 600 just about. Oosh. Now we shall see. Oh, check the follower sticker. I checked it and I'm opening the follower. I right, got to put my eye protection on. Super crazy power here. So, all right. You guys got the trap in there. Ah, when I moved away, it zoomed you out. All right. Stay in there. All right. Here we go. Scary. Alright, open up my tank. Here we go, my new valve. Turn the air on. Kids, don't try this at home. Adjusting my valve. Oh, I did the same thing the other day. Didn't thread my valve all the way in, adjusting it. That's what happened. Got to be careful. All right, hold on. I got to well, blow that O ring. So I got to change an O ring out real quick and try that again. Hey guys, I am back. And I'm going to take this opportunity to give you a little lesson. Badger, come on. You need to hear this. Go. Come on, Badger. Here, come on. So, all you guys heard last week about the guy that blew up his HDB. Now, those guns, they're cheap. You know, 190 bucks. What do you expect? Can't expect a lot from them. Real cheap internals. They, they don't even have thread on air fittings. They're all uh, crimped to lead. Never want to use more than a thousand. You know, a thousand's even pushing it. They're barely designed for 850. Badger, go. Badger wants to play. You don't want to listen, but guys, dangerous, man. These variable rigs that get you thousands of PSI, you don't want to use them on any of the guns, never mind the cheap ones. You get what you pay for. And this guy was, you know, he had videos of 2,000 PSI going through an HDB. Those Numerexes are made, you know, they're 190 bucks, they're cheap, you know. The, the revolvers are 100 bucks, they're cheap. That means they're made cheap. They're never going to handle that kind of PSI, you know, and he, he said it blew up at a lower pressure, but he, he'd already been shooting at 2,000 PSI. That's insane. You know, I know everybody wants to get high numbers. Don't use high pressure to get high numbers. I never go over 1,000. And you see how dangerous that is? That was just 1,000 PSI. And that was stupid, me rushing around like an idiot. You know, I was messing around with the stock. I had these, these, uh, here's the way these work. You know, I made, they're, they're multi-tier threaded make them on the lathe, and they screw in the back of the gun, which makes them solid, super safe. But you gotta make sure they're screwed in all the way. I made this mistake one time before. And once you put the stock on, you gotta make sure, you know, when you're adjusting your stock, you don't loosen it. I didn't realize when I was putting my stock on, I loosened it up, you know, setting the stock in the right position. So I, I make them pretty tight to the, the ID of the stock, so it fits on there well and won't fall off. But when you move the stock, it can move the valve. And I didn't realize I moved it out and it wasn't tight to the gun. So this time I checked it, it's tight all the way in there. But a stupid mistake like that, 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 that could have killed me. If, hey, if that was 2,000 PSI, my head would be gone. That little thing right there would have took my head right off. Got lucky it just hit me in the shoulder. But that was 1,000 PSI. 2,000, double the pressure. This bolt would have run right through my chest or my neck. So you almost got to see me get killed on YouTube. That would have been great. Definitely would have went viral on that one. Maybe we would have got some more subscribers. Is that what I got to do? Hey, I ain't doing that. All right. We're back. For the third time, we're going to test the gun. Now we got air in the tank. I got it screwed on. I actually checked it this time. 
before, I was screwing around with the stock, and there was a gap in between, and I didn't notice it. It wasn't on all the way. You gotta have a good amount of threads on to hold back all that power. All right, try it again. Hopefully I don't die, we shall see. You know, this is new shit. No one, no one's did it before, so we learn as I go. All right, eye protection. No way, jackass, tell you, you don't need it. Yeah, sure, my gun can shoot right through these, but they're gonna protect you from a ricochet. And something is always better than nothing. Anyone tells you different, an idiot. Don't listen to them. All right, eye protection on. Magazine in, air on, check the follower, follower engaged, here we go again. Alright, it's such a long gun, I gotta reach, I got short arms. Six twenty two. Six twenty two. Woohoo! The next one was 630 something. I didn't hold it quick enough. Ah, I lost all my air in that last shot when well, my tank went off. <laughs> Sorry, when it runs out of air, the, the bolt won't retract back all the way and it'll just, you know, it fits like that. But whoo, she's a monster. 622, I don't even know what that is. Let's see what we got jewel wise. See, I, you, you see it on the screen. I gotta go back, do the video, and then do the math. Now I'm gonna do the math. What was it, 622? I think it was 622. The next one was 630 something, but I don't remember. I got a bad memory. So we'll go with the first one that I showed you. 622, ballistic calculator. These are not my glasses. And I can't see with those, but I can see with these. All right, what do we got? Eight gram. Six twenty two calculate one hundred and forty three joules point two a hundred and five foot pounds. There you go, people. Save me the trouble, put it up on the screen. Yeah, still got some adjusting to do on that one. I think that's plenty high though. Oof. 143 joules. What a monster. Well, those valves do it. And well, TCP. You got to do something on those. They're no fun. They got no rear ASA, so you can't turn them in the carbine. So that is my fix for that. Got to make it some fun somehow. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I will see you on the next one. Uh, I got a patrol carbine going out to Hawaii. I got to get that all tested up and uh, see what goes. Got two barrels for that one. So all right, that'll be on the next video. I'll see you guys later. Stay safe.